9.6 Applying the Zero Property to Solve Equations Practice Solutions. So for these equations, we're going to uh, be dealing with them that are mostly factored. Uh, if they are factored for us, we just got to set each part equal to zero and solve for the variable. If they are not factored for us, we need to factor, then do the same. So for example, 1, we are given x minus 15 times x minus 22 is equal to zero. So the x minus 15 gets set equal to zero, and so does the x minus 22. Then we just solve for x, so move the 15 over by adding it to both sides. We get that x is equal to 15. Add the 22 over. We get that x is equal to 22. For 2, we're given x minus 2 times x, or sorry, x plus 2 times x minus 18 is equal to 0. So the x plus 2 is equal to 0 and the x minus 18 is equal to zero. So we're going to subtract the two from each side. We get that x is equal to negative two, and then we add that 18 to both sides, and x is equal to 18. For three, we're given f of x is equal to x plus 15 times x plus 17. So same exact thing as saying x plus 15 times x plus 17 is equal to 0. So we're going to put the x plus 15 equal to 0 and the x plus 17 is equal to 0. Move the 15 over by subtracting it from each side. We get x is equal to negative 15. Do the same with the 17, subtract it from each side. And we get that x is equal to negative 17 as well. For 4, we're given f of x is equal to x minus 2 ninths times x plus 1 half. So again, this is like it's saying 0 is equal to x minus 2 ninths times x plus 1 half. So the x minus 2 ninths is equal to 0, and the x plus 1 half is equal to 0. So we are going to add the 2 ninths to each side for this one. So x is equal to 2 ninths. And then we subtract the 1 half from each side on this and get that x is equal to negative 1 half as well. For 5, we have f of x is equal to negative 0 0.2 times x minus 1 ninth, or sorry, 1.9 times x minus 3.5. So again, this is like saying 0 is equal to this. So we're going to set each part equal to 0, so negative 0 0.2 is equal to 0, x minus 1.9 is equal to 0, and x minus 3.5 is equal to 0. For the negative 0 0.2 is equal to 0, this is a false statement, so we're going to cross it out. Don't work with it. For the x minus 1.9 is equal to 0, add the 1.9 to both sides. And x is equal to 1.9. The x minus 3.5 is equal to 0. Add the 3.5 to each side. And x is equal to 3.5. For 6, we're given f of x is equal to x times x plus 20. So again, 0 is equal to x times x plus 20. So set each part equal to 0. x is equal to 0. And x plus 20 is equal to 0. Move the 20 over by subtracting it from each side, and you get that x is equal to 0, and x is equal to negative 20. For 7, we have f of x is equal to 3 fourths times x minus 3 fourths. So this again is equal to 0 is equal to 3 fourths times x minus 3 fourths. So we're going to have the 3 fourths equal to 0 and the x minus 3 fourths is equal to 0. The 3 fourths is not equal to 0, so we're going to cross it out. Don't work with it. For the x minus 3 fourths is equal to 0, we're going to add 3 fourths to both sides, and we get that x is just equal to 3 fourths. For 8, we're given f of x is equal to x plus 24 times x plus 24. So again, this is 0 is equal to. We have the same of the two parentheses, so we don't have to do both of them. 
we know that if we set both of them equal to 0, it's going to be the same exact thing. So just solve one of them, subtract the 24 from each side, and we get that x is equal to negative 24. Now, if they had opposite signs between the two terms, then yes, you'd have to solve both of them, but because these are identically the same, you don't have to solve it more than once. For 9, we have negative 6x times x plus 12 minus 15 times x plus 12 is equal to 0. So you'll realize if we're factored by grouping, these two parentheses are the same, so we're going to rewrite 1. And then we're going to form another with the negative 6x minus 15 and set everything equal to zero. So with this one, you can do this one of two ways. You could set both of these parentheses equal to zero and solve for x. However, you could also divide out a negative three from the negative six x minus 15. It's totally up to you which way you do it. You're gonna get the same answer regardless. So I'm not, I don't wanna waste time, so I'm just gonna do x plus 12 is equal to zero and negative six x minus 15 is equal to zero. From here, I'm going to add the 12 to both sides. I get that x is equal to 12. And then with the other one, I'm going to add the 15 to both sides. I get negative 6x is equal to 15. Then I'm, from here, I'm going to divide each side by the negative 6 and simplify. A positive divided by a negative is a negative, so x is equal to a negative. 3 goes into both 15 and 6, so it's going to be 5 over 2, negative 5 over 2. So I have x is equal to 12, and x is equal to negative 5 over 2. But the question for this one, it tells us that the height of a football after it has been kicked from the top of a hill can be modeled by the equation h is equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 4t times 2t minus 5, where h is the height of the football in feet and t is the time in seconds. How long is the football in the air? So if we For 10, we have 10 times x minus 3 minus x times x minus 3 is equal to 0. So again, we have two parentheses that are the same. So it's going to be x minus 3. And then we're going to form another with a 10 minus x and have this equal to 0. From here, I said both sets of parentheses equal to 0, so x minus 3 is equal to 0, and 10 minus x is equal to 0. Solve. We're going to have to add the 3 to both sides for this one, and we get that x is equal to 3. Subtract the 10 from each side on this one. We get negative x is equal to negative 10, and then divide each side by the negative 1. And we get that x is equal to 10. So 3 and 10. For 11, we're given 5x times x plus 2 thirds plus x plus 2 thirds is equal to 0. So right now, this plus x plus uh, 2 thirds is like saying plus 1. So this is going to give us x plus 2 thirds times 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now we have x plus 2 thirds is equal to 0, and 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we're going to subtract the 2 thirds from each side on this one. We get x is equal to negative 2 thirds. And then with the 5x plus 1 is equal to 0, we're going to subtract 1. We get 5x is equal to negative 1. Then we divide each side by the 5, and we get that x is equal to negative 1 fifth. For 12, we have a negative times x plus 4 plus x times x plus 4 is equal to 0. So again, this is like negative 1 times x plus 4, so it's going to be x plus 4 times negative 1 plus x is equal to 0. The x plus 4 is equal to 0, and the negative 1 plus x is equal to 0. We're going to subtract the 4 from each side. We get x is equal to negative 4. Then we're going to add the 1 to each side on this one. We get that x is equal to 1. For 13, we have 7x times 9 minus x plus 1 thirds times 9 minus x is equal to 0. So we're going to form 1 parentheses with a 9 minus x. 
and then another with a 7x plus 1 third. I'm going to set both of these equal to 0. So 9 minus x is equal to 0, and 7x plus 1 third is equal to 0. I'm going to remove the 9 over by subtracting it from each side. We get negative x is equal to negative 9, and then we divide by negative 1, so x is equal to 9. For the other equation, we have 7x plus 1 third is equal to 0, so we're going to subtract the 1 third from each side. So we have 7x is equal to negative 1 third. From here, we're going to divide each side by that 7. When we divide by 7, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal because we're dividing fractions. So we are going to keep, change, flip. So this is going to change into multiplication. And that 7 is going to, we're going to take the reciprocal of it. So it's going to be 1 over 7. So we're going to multiply these, and we get that x is equal to negative 1 over 21. So you have two answers here. You have that 9, and you have the negative 1 over 21. For 14, we have negative x times x minus 3 plus 6x minus 18 is equal to 0. So if we put parentheses around the 6x plus, or sorry, 6x minus 18, we're going to divide out as 6. So this is going to become negative x times x minus 3 plus 6 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now our two parentheses are the same, so we can form one with the x minus 3 and another with the negative x plus 6. So we're going to set both of these equal to 0. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 and negative x plus 6 is equal to 0. Add the 3 to both sides. So x is equal to 3, subtract the 6 from each side. On this side, we have negative x is equal to negative 6, and then divide each side by the negative 1. So x is equal to positive 6. So 3 and 6. For 15, we have h is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 4t times 2 minus 5. So we are going to take this h and turn it into 0. So 0 is equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 4t times 2t minus 5. So now we're going to set each part equal to 0. So 2 is equal to 0. Negative 2 minus 4t is equal to 0. And 2t minus 5 is equal to 0. The 2 is equal to 0 is not a true statement, so we're going to cross it out. We're going to add this 2 to both sides for this one. We get negative 4t is equal to 2, and then we're going to divide by negative 4. And we get that t is equal to negative 1 half. For the 2t minus 5 is equal to 0, we're going to add the 5 to both sides. We get 2t is equal to 5, and then we divide each side by the 2 and get that t is equal to 5 over 2. Now, if we look back, back at our answers, we have a negative and a positive answer. And we know that with time, time cannot be negative when we're dealing with things. So the 5 over 2 seconds would be the only answer that we have for this one.